welcome to the Queen Mary 2. Commodore Club wraps around the front of the ship, just above the library and wellness centre. I'm going to show you this magnificent ship from top to bottom. It's amazing. It's a wash with clubs, bars and small rooms to gather in, as well as nightclubs, ballrooms and two theatres. Up here in the Commodore Club on Deck 9 is the largest model of the Queen Mary that exists. And this is where you'll find the boardroom. Let's keep going up. At the front of the ship on Deck 10 there are suites, but on 11 there is the Atlantic Room, which is where you can play bridge. Normally at 9.30 there's beginner's bridge, at 11.30 there is intermediate and at 2 o'clock duplicate. Watch the captain sail the ship. Above the bridge room is the bridge and then above that on deck 13 is the lookout. So we've arrived at the top of the ship. Let's work our way back down. Now there's a massive sports deck where you can play paddle tennis, there are golf nets, and you can play deck games. The largest pool on the ship is covered when it needs to be, and we're in Hamburg, so the roof is on. This is the pavilion pool and bar, and there's a pool and a jacuzzi. The pavilion pool has quite steep steps down, so it's probably not an easy access pool. This is where you will find the fairways, golf simulator. Good news for pet owners, you're allowed to bring your pets, and you can only go into the kennels if you have a pet with you. This area on deck 11 is reserved for Queen's Grill and Princess Grill guests only. As you drop down from deck 11, you come right down onto deck 8, and that's because 9 and 10 have staterooms overlooking the back of the ship. The Veranda restaurant is a steakhouse and also has a seafood platter, and you can eat here if you pay a supplement. Like on all ships, it's up to you to find your favourite sunbathing spot. This one has a great view. On deck seven is the elegant Princess Grill. And on the other side to the Princess Grill is the equally elegant Queen's Grill. And this is the Grill's Lounge and all these areas are for the exclusive use of the Princess and Queen's Grill guests. Mm. So let's take a look at the King's Court. So every three or four days the menu changes here. There's the bamboo, the coriander, the chef's galley and la piazza. You can pay a small supplement to come here and anyone can book it. Like on all cruise ships, this food could be safe. So a good tip is if you like it spicy, ask for extreme spicy and it still won't be 
steam out of your ears. And then we come through to the main buffet area, which is on both sides. Here's where you get your teas, coffee, and also juices are available. And this is the main service area. So if you carry on through, this is the Corinthia Lounge where you can get snacks. And as we come to the end of Deck 7, Maril, the Wellness and Beauty Reception. offer the full range of beauty treatments and it's right next door to the library come with me so deck three is the entertainment deck and as you walk through towards the theater this is my favorite part all the old hollywood glamour photographs on the wall This is a special theatre, Illuminations, where you can see shows about the solar system, guest lectures, and you can see movies in here. This is a stunning theatre. Most theatres would be pleased to have this as their first theatre. And these projectors in the domes put together the astronomy show when it's available. The Royal Court is the main theatre where you see the acts and entertainment in the evening. The stage in the Royal Court tonight is set for the Beatles. Well, the tribute to the Beatles, but they may have been the Beatles longer than the original Beatles were. We saw a 16-piece live orchestra backed by an 80-piece Cunard orchestra filmed in Abbey Road Studios and played behind them on the screen. No shortage of shopping and the shops are open when we're at sea. Shops lead down to the atrium and at the other side is the champagne bar and the chart room. The chart room is where you can come for a pre-dinner drink with entertainment. room on the Queen Mary 2 with these bespoke cocktails and delicious canapes. This is very indulgent. The Godiva Chocolate Cafe at Sir Samuel's. And this is the main dining room, the Britannia restaurant. This is the Golden Lion Pub on Deck 2, where they also have entertainment. Next to the Golden Lion is the Photo Gallery.
Opposite the reception in the grand lobby is the Empire Casino for gambling. Find the Britannia Club and Disco, you come down the side of the Britannia Restaurant through the art gallery, and here we are. So, this is the Queen's Room. This is G32, I guess under 18, after midday, after 9.30, but it's really good in here. The house band plays till 12.30 and then they have a disco till the early hours. And if you just want to people watch, stay upstairs. You can also access the Britannia Club or the Queen's Room or the disco from the upper level of the Britannia restaurant. The thing I love about the Queen Mary too is the inclusivity. There is a massive cross-section of people and what has surprised me is the number of children on board and they are catered for. This is the Minnow Splash Pool and it's right by the zone. This is our stateroom on the Queen Mary 2. Obviously they're all different so there's no point in showing you the whole room but the points of interest are the bed is very comfortable. Today, sadly, we're going home, so they've put this on for us to pack our cases. You may want to know what plug sockets there are. Well, there are English and American. At this time, there are no phone charger sockets, so we brought our own converter plug. The hairdryer is in the drawer below the television, and it's quite effective. Below the hairdryer is the fridge, quite spacious. Tea and coffee making facilities in here with the safe above and above that your life jacket and your muster station is always on the back of the door. There is ample wardrobe space, two wardrobes here, set of four drawers here, another wardrobe here, shelves above, plenty of room. Previous Blue Light Festivals have seen as many as five cruise ships joining in, but it seems today the Queen Mary 2 has it all to herself and aren't we lucky to be here? <laughs>